Recently, I've been trying to get more subscribers, get more watch hours, general YouTube goals. I've been following a lot of people that give you little tips and tricks on how to get more viewers. And one of the tips that I see very common is joining Facebook YouTube creator groups. So I jumped into five or six of those. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the good, the bad, and the ugly, the things that I've experienced. So if that sounds good, stick around. What's up YouTube? Welcome to Extraordinarily Average. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing my experience with Facebook groups, specifically Facebook YouTube creators groups. That's been really hard for me to say. It took a few takes, but I got it out. It's pretty cold out here, so I'm not gonna waste a lot of time on fluff. A lot of the videos I've watched on YouTube about growing your channel have recommended using Facebook to advertise your channel and to advertise your content, get your content out there in front of more people so anyway, I joined a few Facebook groups. To be clear, I should probably share my content with my actual friends and family. So my, my subscriber count is pretty low and they would probably boost it by at least 100 to 200 subscribers. But what I want out of this is viewers that actually enjoy my content that are not watching it because they know me. They're not watching it feeling like they owe it to me to watch it or just to help me out. I want people that actually enjoy the content that I, that I create. So I've kind of avoided sharing this with any of my friends and family. At first it was because I was embarrassed that I was doing it. I thought that I was going to be a flop. After a couple of months of putting videos out there, who cares if I flop? Who cares if my friends and family see me flop? Whatever. I'm going to keep doing this until I get it right. With that being said, I did join five or six. I don't know. I'm not sure of the exact number, but I joined a few YouTube content creator groups on Facebook. First, I'm going to jump into some of the negatives. And then I'll gradually get into this positive. This isn't going to be a very long video, so don't worry. If you want to stick around to the end, I appreciate it. Um, you'll find out exactly how I got to the positives. So, first and foremost, when you go to join most of these groups, almost all of them have a little questionnaire that you have to fill out that says right up front, they'll kick you out of the group if you're attempting to sub for sub. Now, most of us know why sub for sub is a bad idea. So just say you're successful in getting a thousand people to subscribe to you. For whatever reason, you beat the YouTube algorithm. It doesn't pick up on the fact that you're doing sub for sub. Let's just get into what it is that you're really committing yourself to here. So beyond the obvious stuff, let's just break down the commitment you're making to other people when you do that. To get a thousand subscribers to subscribe to you in a sub for sub, you have to subscribe to a thousand people and support those people. Let's just say on average, each of them creates a five minute video once a week. Now you're committing to supporting these people 5,000 minutes a week. So 5,000 minutes that you're agreeing to watch basically per week, that breaks down to 83.33 hours. And if you break that down, that's, that's almost three and a half days that and I'm talking full days, full 24 hour days, three and a half days almost that you're committing to helping out by watching these people's content. That's a little more than having two full-time jobs that you just agreed to. And yet with all of these, with all the negatives, all of the people saying that they'll cut you off of their Facebook page if you do sub for sub, as soon as you open those groups, what do you see? Sub for sub, sub for sub, please sub for sub. Support me and I'll support you. There was even one page that I attempted to join and one of the rules was you had to go to the, the creator of that group's YouTube, take a screenshot of yourself starting their video, a screenshot at the end of the video with you subscribed and liked before they even allowed you to join the group. Now I know that that may, seem, may have seemed like a good idea to the creator of that group. They're gonna get a bunch of hours, probably a bunch of watch time, but now, there's some resentment there. And even if your content's good, I'm not coming back to watch it. So why would you set something up like that? So I've been debating on creating my own Facebook group and actually monitoring it for sub for sub and kicking people out. Uh, Cause what I, what I would like to see, and I do, I did find one group that was like this. I can't remember the name of it now. I will probably, I'll try to throw it in the description. What I would like to see out of these Facebook groups is people that watch give you some kind of feedback 
some constructive criticism you know be nice about it but tell people how they can improve what is it you're looking for on a YouTube video and help people to grow their channels but do it because you're genuinely interested in their content now I'm not gonna lie to you I have I met some really cool people in those groups but it took a lot of digging it took a lot more work than should be necessary you should just be able to scroll through pick out a creator or two or a topic or two that you like check out some videos and see who it is you would like to subscribe to and like I said provide some positive feedback some net you know some constructive criticism type feedback where you're helping someone become a better creator and create content that you would like to see with all that being said I did meet some really creative and interesting people on on Facebook um, in those groups I met a kid from Jersey that makes really cool videos. Um, he, had, he has little cool story plot lines and he throws like digital graphics in, into the videos. A really talented young man. Um, I, and I'm not gonna give any shout outs in this because I only have 31 subscribers at the point when I'm making this video. And I wanna wait till at least I get 100 subscribers and then that way more people are gonna see the shout outs. I don't wanna be wasting shout outs. And for anybody that in, interacts with me, I'll, I'll not only give you guys a shout out when I get to 100, but I'll do it every time I hit 50 more. Every time I hit 50 more, I'll give you another one because I got some really good people that, that follow me and that watch my content. But I guess the whole point I'm trying to make here is that if you are going to use Facebook as a networking tool and to try to build a following and to try to actually find people that you enjoy, because I think for the most part, most of us got into this because we enjoy the things that we watch on YouTube. And we also want to share our experiences and maybe some knowledge and and maybe just different points of view on life. And I, I know that's why I started because I, I have always had a tendency to see things from just a slightly different perspective than a lot of people. Uh, and over the years, I found that whether they agree with me or not, most people find my points of view relatively interesting. And I'm going to wrap this up really quick because it is kind of cold out here. It's uh, January in Michigan. It's a lot better than it could be. Uh, but it's still pretty cold, so I'm gonna wrap this up. But just remember, if you do, if you are gonna jump into some Facebook groups, you know, network properly. Don't sub for sub. Whatever you do, don't sub for sub. Spend your time in those groups to really filter through and find people that you find interesting and amazing, and it can be a really helpful tool. I appreciate you if you made it this far. I appreciate you if you made it this far. Hit that like button if you found anything useful or valuable in this in, in this video. I know it wasn't very detailed, but I really just wanted to share my experience with these Facebook groups. And again, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks. Peace.